Hello crafty friends, welcome to my channel and to day 2 of Christmas card series. Today I will be creating a shaker card using these three my favorite things hybrid inks. I'm using Gumdrop Green, uh, Red Hot and Cherry Crisp. I will also be using this rubber stamp set uh, by Card As called Christmas Scandinavia and I will be using this uh, elongated uh, stamp. Uh, to start with, I will actually be using this stamp to draw my lines. I'll be using a pencil to just lightly uh, draw the lines. So later on when I'm stamping the pattern, uh, I will stamp it in the equal distances from each other. Uh, now I'm going to use the acrylic block to attach the stamp and I'm going to go in with my gumdrop green first. So I'm starting off with the green and then every uh, third one I will stamp uh, in color green and then later on I will go in with the first red and then with the second red to fill in the empty spaces. I had this stamp set for a, a long while but I only recently I came up with this idea to create a background with this uh, long stamp and I really like how it turned out. I think. Uh, Adding three different colors made it uh, really look festive and fun. And so now I'm going in with the uh, red hot and to fill in the other spaces. And the cherry crisp is the darkest and the last color I'm putting on. And now I'm going to use my eraser to uh, get rid of all the pencil lines. And that is a finished background. And now I must say, I think I stopped my camera, so <laughs> I stamped this uh, beautiful sentiment, The Magic of Christmas Never Ends, using uh, VersaFind Black Onyx ink, and then I heat embossed it using clear embossing powder and my heating tool. Uh, the stamp set is from uh, Little Inker's Designs, and I really love it. I love all these kind of a uh, tag, perfect for tags uh, sentiments. And so now I'm gonna adhere uh, my card front to my card base. I went with this deep red color. I'm using double-sided tape. And I will also be using Fun Foam, which has adhesive on one side, as you can see. So I adhered my card front to the Fun Foam and then Fun Foam to my card base. And so it gives a little bit of dimension. At this point, I thought uh, my card was finished, but when I kept looking at it, I knew that there was something missing. So I went f uh, and grabbed my stackable die set from uh, My Favorite Things, which has a little stitching all around those squares. And I cut out this frame, which I adhered here. And at this point, again, I thought I was finished, <laughs> but then I realized, uh, why not making a shaker card? And so I took my fun foam and I cut out two uh, of these frames uh, for dimension and I stacked it on top of the already adhered square frame and I think it looks pretty neat. Uh, I think it added more interest and fun look. Uh, it also has this beautiful stitching around. Although I must say when I uh, removed the uh, bucking of this fun foam piece and it kind of changed the shape and it was hard to put it in place. So uh, just a tip, when you're removing the adhes adhesive from the fan foam frame, uh, try not to pull it, but gently take it off so it doesn't do what it just you just saw it did here. Uh, I finally managed to uh, put it on. Now I'm going to add the second layer of fan foam on top. Uh, but first I'm going to put a thin layer of double-sided tape on it because in the end I would like to put that little frame I cut out on the left from regular cardstock on top of those two layers of fun foam frames.
And of course, because I wanted it to be a shaker card, I have a piece of acetate cut out, also using this stitched square die. And I'm adding some tiny crystal beads, which I think are so beautiful. I think I went with some blue, some uh, clear ones, uh, just so it gives a little frost and ice in, on the inside of the shaker. And now I'm adding the top uh, frame that was cut out of regular red cardstock. And that almost finishes the card, <laughs> but I also decided that it needs a little more sparkle, so I went in with uh, Wink Estella and uh, used it on the frame. And that finishes the card for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I sure had fun creating this part. Thank you so much for watching and see you again on Friday with the day 3 of Christmas card series. Have a great day! Bye!